वेलकम टू दिस वीक्स एपिसोड ऑफ दी ऑथर कोलेबरेटिव एज ऑलवेज आई विल बी इन्वाइटिंग अ गेस्ट टू द सेशन वेयर वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हर लेटेस्ट बुक माई लेटेस्ट बुक एंड आर एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑफ राइटिंग एंड पब्लिशिंग सो स्टे ट्यून वी विल बी हैविंग आर गेस्ट विथ हस इन सम टाइम हैप्पी फ्राइडे टू यू ऑल हेलो वी हैव हर विथ हस आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू एड हर सो वी कैन बिगिन टू डेज एपिसोड Hello, thank you for joining. Hi, Gitega. How are you? Hi, hi. How are you? We have Ranjini. Thank you, Ranjini, for joining. Hello, everyone. Those of you who have joined us. So, Gitega, hi. How are you? I'm good. Honestly, okay. I mean, honestly speaking, um, I don't know. I was ready for this live. I just took a thing that yeah, I have to do it. So, I'll just uh join in so if anything happens just uh, <laughs> bear with me this time no no uh, all my strength and love to you and thank you for doing this i know you are going through a difficult time so this really means a lot <laughs> thank you thank you so much uh so i was just telling everyone that uh, i have another guest with me whose book i have read so before i say anything i would like for you to tell the audience who you are and which book we are talking about Okay, so I am Gitika Bakshi, and uh, I am an author, a blogger, a language trainer, and a working professional. So, um, why you know why I always love to speak that I'm a blogger and author first because often as an author, as a as a blogger, I receive this question. Okay, apart from writing, what do you do? so i believe that this thing is something you know that um, uh, we should just uh, tell people that that yes this is our profession so we are in this profession completely wholeheartedly and um, recently i would just like to tell you all that uh, i am i have turned into a script writer as well as i have started wow. writing uh, scripts uh, theater scripts for corporates so i have successfully wonderful congratulations thank you so i've successfully completed two scripts uh, which i like i backed these two projects this year earlier this year and uh, it took almost 6 months to me to complete the projects and i'm very happy it, and it's it, you know what that i think writing a single script give you um, the happiness equivalent to completing a book hmm so it's like you know like people say that you know it takes 6 months sometimes 3 months a year more than you know a few years to write a book but a script is completely something for me it's like it took 6 to 7 months to you know to to uh, to shape it the way i wanted to shape it the way uh, the the person who gave that project to me he wanted so it's just like you know uh, a very uh, true some experience for me and um, and it is unbelievable that you know that uh, that when people and uh, trusting the the capabilities of your writing so that gives you a different sort of you know a different tangent of happiness so, like you know only author like you can understand yeah yeah definitely and uh, i know it comes from a place of passion also because uh, the way we feel about writing i don't think anybody can relate those who is uh, no only a person who loves reading and writing can understand the passion that we work with so i completely feel what you are saying here and really i'm really happy for you that you got to you know write scripts also that's a wonderful opportunity that you have got so yes, congratulations thank you, thank you so much <laughs> and uh, now moving on to the book uh, let's talk about the book that uh, Uh, i have read of yours and i have written a review also we are talking about jashna and awakening which is a uh, did i hear script yes uh, aspi- <laughs> we have uh, devansh here who is also an aspiring uh, script writer filmmaker and uh, he is saying congratulations so yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining and uh, we are talking about jashna and awakening it's a it's a collection of short stories uh, in which we have a lot of st- In fact, all of the stories in the books are related to women. I guess, right? If I'm not wrong, correct? Yes. yes. Uh, all of them have a female protagonist, and they are around social issues. So, talk about that book. Your experience of writing it. Okay. So, I if I just you know first I'll just show the cover of the book. Yes. You know. a new person comes they always ask they just you know people because these day uh, you get judged by the uh, insta and social you know social uh, media pages you have so 
uh, seeing my personality, often people ask that, "Is this you on the cover?" <laughs> I always say no because because that's the fact, and this is something my you know my editor, my editor uh, uh, chose this thing, and she did very you know I think fabulous job because this goes exactly with the you know with something which I wanted. So, I. Um, if it comes to this so i can say that yes um, this is something which was well planned hmm. because the first book happened out of you know out of something i never planned and out of uh, you know out of something that um, someone just you know feel a, a, a person doesn't uh, believe in herself or something like it just you know happens ki you know someone just came to me through when i was very new to insta and i, I had a habit of uh, uh, writing um, uh, you know poems as uh, insta uh, posts hmm. so I mean, people used to say, "Yeah, such long poems do you write?" I mean, uh, you know, these days people love uh, small snippets. You know, people love uh, quick, quick liners. You know, mm -hmm. quick poems. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, even if I try, I can give you uh, an excerpt, a line or two from mm -hmm. my poem. But mm -hmm. you know, if I can never, you know, put because I have seen you also. You also like write, you know, mini babbles or something like that. One of my another friend, a uh, very good writer friend, she writes uh, very sweet mini babbles, and. Um, I am someone when I take a pen and until unless I just put the complete page, so it is very difficult for me to you know just uh, just uh, full by I am pour my whole heart in one poem, mm. so I end up writing very good good poems. So what happened uh, one day this uh, that time um, the writers writers gram publish publications, mm. it just. then uh, that was a very new publication and they just asked me you know to just pay a registration fee of a uh, fees of 500 rupees and they asked me that uh, you'll do uh, they'll do everything for me mm -hmm. okay they just make so it was something and i i just i just paid and i forgot okay i mean it's like yeah uh, nobody is going to take that much of pain for you why would anyone so it was something that happened out of like it took one year that the my first book came out but i almost forgot forgotten about you know what i have done a year mm. back mm. so like you know so that that was this book ibiza which most of okay. my readers and you know they they know about this book it's, it is completely poetry so um then i tried that you know i was always an avid reader mm. i had habit though uh, 20 end of 2021 and beginning of 2022 was not at all that good to you know continue with my writing and i um, i uh, manali i have read your blog you know how you started uh, uh, reading many books you know completed some books that there was a blog you know i i just wrote um, and just um, i read that blog of yours and i found out you know this is something that you know people like me they are uh, actually they are in need of you know when you are an avid reader and you leave that habit because things happen in life and you know something comes up and uh, some passion of yours take a back seat yeah. so we always try we always try not i mean this thing should not happen but this is life so we cannot do anything so you know keep writing so this is something i always uh, i always believe that uh, an author or um, a reader we have to keep uh, you know motivating each each one of us yes 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 that's so, very necessary yes we have to keep pushing each other and you know be each other's uh, you know uh, checking points ki kiya tumne karte raho exactly exactly so you know so i just feel like you know uh, that one should uh, just uh, one has to read in order to write so when i used to write i have you know when i started blogging so you know um, i don't know people maybe um, some people just write uh, from the daily um, observations which every writer do you know mm -hmm. every writer Uh, does but the thing is that then um, i started like you know if i'm reading a story there is a line you know uh, which attracts my attention so i turn and i relate that particular line from a book to a blog so you mm. know this this actually uh, this actually suggests you know uh, some ideas in my mind and i you know i wrote many uh, blogs that way so uh, and and i just turned out you know that even blogging happened to me when i never trusted myself Hmm. I wrote in you know, a women's web page. I've written my first blog, and I forgot about it. And you know, because I know that this blog never gonna be published because it's a very big platform, and it was year twenty twenty. So I I never uh, logged into that site 
after you know putting my published my first mm-hmm. blog because it was said that and on that site na not every blog uh, publishes they just mm-hmm. you know reject or before you know <laughs> they just actually published something so uh, that happened in one day one one cousin of mine she said that uh, you know masi go check it your blog is available on google it was like uh, is there something like that and i googled my name and i found the first thing came up was women's web this you know the, the, the title of the blog which i wrote a year back wow. so that me something that uh, one should keep trying Hmm. even if you don't trust yourself you never know that you know things are happening for you hmm. so uh, this is something you know that um, i always believe so this this piece made me to work on this book jashn my you know uh, and uh, i just see that uh, sometimes i thought of a, a story a story line and i started writing and i keep writing and you know the way it ended it was never the expectation which i had when i started the story and yeah thought that if it is okay so to try to you know you can find uh, one or two stories from this book even published on some blogs mm-hmm. because i wanted to uh, see that uh, uh, i can say that i wanted to see that you know uh, these sort of stories will be you know loved or liked by people or not mm-hmm. so i once and i just uh, published two stories from this book on so, like platform like women's web and you mm-hmm. have other uh, you know other sites which i'm writing for so uh, this is how you know i got um, the idea about this book and even the title came when my 20 stories was complete completely written it was ready it was edited everything was done so the title was the uh, the last thing i thought of mm-hmm. and i wanted to do something with celebration because i know that my each story it has something you know uh, to do with celebration so i tried uh, words in french i tried words in german you know to just uh, bring yeah. but then when i tried this urdu term just mm, yeah. it something which you know related and even my uh, editor my my publisher they said yeah this is something you should just go for so this is how this happened and uh, it was a fabulous journey uh, till now it was very good wonderful yeah i can see the passion with which you are talking about the book i can see how much effort it has taken and how how fruitful it is for you i mean of course uh, the book is just very decent we can say but i can see that the satisfaction of getting published is clearly visible on your face so that's that's more than anything else for us right exactly <laughs> uh, which brings me to my first question for you uh, when i read the book i was like yeah you have touched upon every possible social issue related to women that we can think of okay and each story talks about one or more issues what i wanted to understand is how how you went about writing them you know i am very sure you have not faced uh, all of them of course very true so how difficult or how challenging was it did you talk to people did you read about somebody or what was the process about writing re- related to women's issues okay so if i talk about that you know there is one story which is very close to my heart that is um, a guilty conscious if you remember yeah. at the story about a red pouch or something mm-hmm. so that is something which uh, actually um, i mean certain things uh, i was reading a blog mm-hmm. i was reading a small you know something and something comes that uh, and i was talking to one of my friend which and we were talking about you know um, uh, like you know some things we found you know uh, it's been dropped by someone and it was like mm-hmm. if i it you know we were just having that sort of you know mm-hmm. availabilitations so you know i just uh, you know these things like um, and at that time i was just uh, reading a blog about cryptomaniacs mm-hmm. so you know the, uh, this is one of the example i'm trying to give so it 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 happens like uh, you know i thought that um, uh, that you know if if i encounter someone which uh, which is a cryptomaniac mm-hmm. and she's my friend so am i supposed to disown Huh. am i supposed to disown or something like that so uh, it it is like you know that uh, 
uh, okay so it's like you know we just have to you know um, there are certain things that you know acid attacks or things like um, i can uh, say love and you know there are not only one or two emotions which should be which uh, which uh, cater you know we as a human being we have a lot of emotions which is pop uh, every uh, every now and then so um, it's just like you know i thought that uh, even i have to cater emotions like lust why not you know so you know uh, so it's just like uh, mm, uh okay so it's just like you know i just no, found... no, we have a troll so just ignore yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is basically you know i just wanted that you know uh, just uh, give yourself a situation try writing on it and if you feel like you know that um, uh, that, that it it is working so let's turn it that way and uh, uh, just you know obviously uh, if i'm writing a story i have to be a little you know uh, it it have to be um, like uh, little examples taking you know from other books uh, it's it's just like that so Uh, so it was like you know i just wanted to just tell that uh, yes that true yeah. that uh, there are certain uh, st- uh, certain examples in some stories that um, that comes from my basically uh, my personal life too but uh, i just if, through this book i just uh, tried to mix uh, that way which i faced and which i am not even touched with so i just try that um, uh, it's it's you know so it, i just tried that way yeah and uh, kudos to you for t- talking about such an issue you know uh, a lot of people think that it's not a real problem when you talk about uh, uh, problems like this mental health related problems they, people f- feel that they are not real uh, it doesn't happen something like that and talking about something like klepto- kleptomania it's like uh, it takes guts and of course uh, if you have uh, if you know somebody who has done it it's 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 like a shame people don't address it people are like mujhe nahi pata ye kaun hai how can she do something like this but people don't address it as a problem that needs to be solved that such people also need to be understood and they need to be treated and you know to come out that out of that problem that they are facing that addiction that they have of stealing things so yeah uh one that was a really good story another story that i really liked was i think it was about two girls liking the same boy and the twist that comes at the end i i am not remembering the title of the story but that was that twist at the end was really, like oh my god i did not see that coming <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh so the next question i have for you is uh talk, tell us about the experience of writing books and publishing it and how to promote them and you know the whole idea what what was surprising for you what took you time to learn and how did you go about it so for this i believe that you know um uh like uh, i i must say that um, it is a, like small steps you should take hmm. uh, you know i find that uh, uh, it's a long process like from last 2 to 3 years i've seen people getting mad about you know self publishing wasting a lot of uh, money on it and sometimes uh, you know uh, get getting into some traps mm-hmm. you know so it's it's just that you know that you have to have patience and you have to have uh, have trust in yourself mm-hmm. even you know, i who like as an author who doesn't want to get published by harper collins or who doesn't want to get published mm-hmm. by penguin exactly but, yes but everyone is not that uh, lucky and not only lucky but i think that uh, it's a process even if you mm-hmm. even if your first book they can and they they will you know easily get um, uh, published by some uh, you know some sort of these very renowned publishers but uh like you know there are these days i must say i must quote that um, um i must quote that uh, to be very honest one second uh i just uh, yeah it's okay i yeah. uh, so i must say that uh, so i i must say that uh just have patience 
and keep working and get your work because even if you know i have uh, i have done a very you know um uh, like i have edit, edited my my more my book by at least i think um, uh, four to five times by myself and it took time of two months just to edit mm-hmm. it and it edited by the publishers it got edited by a friend it got pub, uh, you know edited by a family member so you know so it's basically um, like you know even after that after you know re- reading this book myself i found uh, like one or two grammatical mistakes so it happens you know some some grammatic and i have seen some grammatical mistakes even a book published in you know by harper collins yeah so that think, happens <laughs> you know, that, that happens so you know i i cannot even say that uh, you know the, if your book is getting published by you know a big author so it has to be perfect you know sometimes even if you are a very good reader you have read a lot of books this year you've read a lot of books before so you found that you know even a books published by such uh, uh, publisher sometimes yes. they are very boring sometimes they have no sense and at all but you know uh, and sometimes some books uh, like some self published books are way too good which actually deserve a place like you know with a very good uh, publisher but exactly. they don't get chance yeah. easy. they don't get chance easily but so you know so i think everyone has to wait for the right thing to come to them and they keep on working i think writing this these days we have more writers than readers yes <laughs> sadly yes <laughs> so it 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 is just like you know so i think um, uh, like you know in that case i believe that you know you should take chances but you should not uh, get carried away of uh, or and also you should not just get disheartened if something doesn't work for you so if one thing doesn't work maybe there is another things which will work for you so you know it's a long process sometimes a good book yeah. takes it takes 10 years to get published okay so i think uh, as as a writer as an author or even as a reader i always believe that uh, you know uh, timing is a very you know it's it's a great thing so yeah. just keep working keep your research is very important your yes research is really yes. very important you know uh, at uh, and you know these days um, uh, since this kindle and everything has come up okay we have seen that you know publishers and uh, these things have gone you know way to you know down these days even kids they love to read um, i can say they love to read you know in kindle but i you know i'm such a person who still smell the book even if even if i get less time so first i'll just you know i love to smell i love to just you know feel the pages before i just you know get um, get uh, just you know some margin to the book in the, the story so you know uh, we need such uh, such uh, people still still yeah. we need yeah uh, and uh, what you said about the traditional versus self publishing thing i i always tell people that you know there are good books and not so good books in both the kind of publishing so you just need to find that bit of writing that works for you the bit of books that work of the genre or the author or whoever the publisher is it doesn't matter there is there is good writing in all kinds of genres and all kinds of publishing owning a book itself is a high yes sir it's a very nice yeah <laughs> we're talking about that even if you know your book is read by just 10 people so but you know saying someone that yes i have published a book and that to something which took sweat and hard work so you hmm. always believe that you know that you have done something in life so it's yeah. okay maybe not this year maybe maybe in next two years or maybe something next five years you will come up with new book and maybe you know it uh, you know and then you know people go back and see that this is not your this is not your first book okay so i i think you know uh, so timing is everything timing is everything yes on that note i am going to ask you to read a few passages from the book because we have talked so much about it and i'm sure even the viewers want to know what the book is all about <laughs> okay so this is one of my i i'll just read you know uh, the ex, uh, the uh the back of the book okay and also there is one uh, story the, the first story which is uh, the lost earring so uh, first i'll read a you know small part uh, an excerpt from the first story the lines which uh, you know my readers shared with me and these this paragraph was shared you know at least uh, Uh, three to four times on whatsapp after reading you know so if someone is underlining that particular line so you know there is something when people you know relate to yes. so 
So it is, um, she continued, I have seen an image of the man I used to hate in my son. So I adopted him and raised him single-handedly to prove I never need a man to have and raise a child, but for love, only for love. No one understood, neither then nor now. Look at you, you were trapped in an alienated marriage, hmm. but never thought of finding, uh, never thought of finding love because you, because uh, before you could find love, you were taken. Wonderful. So, Beautiful. You know, and and uh, that was one of my favorite stories, to be really honest. Uh, it, it's, it's a wonderful story about second chances and, you know, destiny, how it works in strange ways. So, yeah. <laughs> So you were also going to read out the blurb from the back of the book? Yeah, I'll just read the blurb. And sometimes you just, you know, um, uh, things happen in the chat. They just, you know, took my little bit of, you know, energy. Okay. And I, 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 I love that. that oh, yeah, God. I understood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so it's just like that in, a, in our society, even alcoholism, drug addiction are treated as illness and people are entitled to be counseled. Um, but if I tell anyone about my thing, I will be judged in every aspect for sure. Some people might even cross check the date to match my visit with the day a petty or huge theft happened at their places, exclaimed Shubhavi. The shame and burden of being caught as a shoplifter cannot be erased ever. Never. People will become hawk around you throughout the life. Hmm. So you know, this, this is, you know, this is something when, you know, I'm, I was talking about a kleptomaniac girl, which, which has a habit of even, you know, snatching or, you know, taking things which are, you know, which are not even useful for her. Like I, I used a word, um, I, if I remember, just one thing, um, when she, um, oh, one thing, I don't know what story it was, when she just, you know, um, uh, uh, there was some, you know, in science lab, she took a small, uh, what I can say, the the pipe, uh, yeah. which is used for, you know, putting some acids and all. So yeah. what use of that thing? <laughs> it's just I wanted to, you know, through that uh, example, I wanted to show that if a person is in, you know, cap uh, it's been uh, captured in that feeling, in that uh, problem. So, you know, you, you end up doing certain things, which, uh, you know, you end up uh, uh, taking certain things which are not even used mm -hmm. and which are not even useful to you. So mm -hmm. it's just like to curb that feeling, it is very difficult. Ha, <laughs> <be bad. It's laughs> <a bit. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So it, it was, you know, uh, I mean, the pipette, the use, uh, use of pipette is on, uh, it is inside the lab. But, you know, what you will do once it, it will be, but, you know, it's just that, that she could not curb that feeling and she mm. wanted to take it away. So she just did it. So, you know, this is something um, uh, I think. <laughs> uh, I thought leptomania had largely to do with no. both. No, no, no. no it's, that, it's, yeah. I've seen to just take pencils from my pouch just to curb the feeling yeah yeah it's just a an urge that you can't let go of you know of taking exactly. things and possessing things that you don't belong to you exactly exactly very true yes okay so uh, that brings me to the end of my questions that i had for you uh, would you like to do the rapid fire now or later together uh, first uh, shall i ask a few questions because i'm yes, the one who yes. So it's better that you should also talk and I must listen. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I have my list. Let me just open the questions. And okay. So my first question to you. Uh, my first question to you. So for, you would like to have rapid fire first or the long ones first? Long form. Okay. Long forms first. So uh, see, I have read your book. And I must say that uh, the two poems, so many, like I just, uh, I started reading the book and I completed the book, but these two stories were just, you know, they were just, it, they had an impression which I can never let go. And, you know, I read it one of your poem today, which is about the procrastination, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, feeling lazy. Yeah. <laughs> that is something I've been practicing from almost, I can say, 
I've been practicing since long, like you know, from four to five months. Though I'm working also, I'm doing my meeting my deadlines also. But I know that you know deep inside I'm pro- I'm a I'm a big time procrastinator this year, because you know, uh, as a person you know that in a certain time period you could have done a lot, no, and no, you no. you did and you did just you know half or maybe less than half of it, so you know that it is the result of the procrastination you are working in. So you know because you have only uh, done the work which was supposed to be completed within the deadline and which had, you know, uh, some drawbacks if you don't finish it. So mm-hmm. you know the other, you fa- you feel like okay, let let me do it later, let me do after. You know, it's just like that. So okay, so my uh, the the poem uh, the first poem I liked was a full circle. life in a full circle that was something beautifully written i must say it it actually you know i i actually clapped while i just read it oh wow thank you <laughs> and uh, mirror mirror on the wall yeah. so you know uh, that is also you know some something which is which is very pure you know which is about self doubts which is about you know accepting yourself so i just loved it so with with this i must say that while reading your book a uh, piece of your mind for the piece of your uh, piece of your so a piece of your mind for piece of mind <laughs> for piece of mind so it's like i wonder how the tit- how the titles of each poem are uh, to app with each poem but what made you put these uh, wonder like uh, you know these wonderful uh, situations in certain titles also i want to know the titles came first or the poem okay uh, so first of all i have always been a person who's very particular about uh, titles be it a uh, book title story title poetry title uh, i always put them very thoughtfully sending out a clear message ki uske andar kya hone wala hai wo tumhe pehle hi thoda sa idea aa jaye so i always put an extra effort into the titles also uh, having said that for this particular book and the poem titles uh, for each of the poems uh, the poems came first and then the titles came because pehle sari poems ke title unke emotion ke hisab se the whatever uh, emotion that i was focusing on in that poem i had titled each poem based on that emotion so for example if i was talking about anxiety the poem was titled anxiety or if i was talking about fear the poem was titled fear but then when i completed uh, writing all the poems i was like no this is not justifying what i want to say uh, if i have to connect to the readers i have to go beyond and say something more beyond the emotion that i am trying to convey so the poems uh, came first the title titles came later you know and i truly believe that once you have written something substantial uh, the titles come to you organically that is what something i believe do uh, focus on the title first focus on the content first focus on your message first then you know everything else falls into place very true very true and i i somehow i knew it but i just wanted to you know make uh, myself clear about it because you know the writing style in the, your poems they reflect your thinking you know and your uh, like what a uh, sort of person you are so mm-hmm. it is it is completely you know a reflection very beautiful reflection of yours so um, apart from this my second question to you is that any particular emotion from the poems you can relate at personal level and uh, as a reader i did with many but as an author what is your say on it Uh, so honestly all the 45 emotions that i have covered in the book uh, in each of the poems i have felt them at one point or another in my life to the situation in which that i have you know uh, portrayed them in the poems i might not have gone through them in that particular exact manner but i have felt those emotions it's impossible to go through life without experiencing emotion various emotions at every moment of your life you know you yes. feel something different at every moment uh, every day is different every minute is different you cannot predict the way you're going to feel based on what life brings you so yes. it just unexpected uh, in that manner having said that uh, there are particular poems that i that have been born out of my own experiences a few of them are just a call away uh, 
or uh, hello old friend these these are born out of my personal experiences so i can say anxiety confidence uh, uh, feeling lost these are the kind of emotions that i have focused on in the book which come out of my own experience okay okay so with that would you love to read a favorite poem of yours uh, you tell me which one is your favorite i think you have already told me right uh, yeah, i have told but i want to that this time you should uh, read uh, you know maybe uh, because you know i have uh, uh, watched a few reels which are being converted into you know uh, the poems uh, the video version of the poems yeah. but um the thing is that uh, that i want to you know uh, listen to it in this class like, so just <laughs> listen to me and i um. Uh, i think we i was just talking about uh, just a call away uh, why not that i don't think i have read that but in any of the lives okay okay and Please it do. is also the first poem so let's okay. go with that yes this uh, poem is titled just a call away and it focuses on the emotion of afraid or uh, fear okay okay just a call away the title and it goes like this a phone ring cracked the silence of the room she picked up It was the call she had been waiting for. It was from the one she loved the most. The expressions changed from frowns to smiles, a relief on realizing all was well. The mother wasn't afraid anymore. A feeling of being watched and followed. She quickened her footsteps, all the while watching over her shoulder. She ran the last few steps. Heaving a sigh of relief, she called the person who had helped her calm down. it was the one she relied on for everything it was the one without whom she felt lost the expressions changed from fear to relief a smile spread across her face the daughter wasn't afraid anymore wow <laughs> thank you thank you so much oh. so after <laughs> so i was just trying to portray the feelings of a daughter and a mother who who are away from one another and you know both of them feel similar emotions about one another but they are not able to convey it so i was like chalo why not express it through a poem i have always been someone who has been away from you know, home i i you know each day um each day when i just you know start my car and i just go to the um, go to my office so i just uh, in the 24 hours i have i miss this thing the most just you know to give i had this habit to to call my uh, mom you know every every morning uh not to just you know update about what i'm up to or something it's just that just to hear her voice yeah how important for me it was so and it is i will not continue this talk anymore because i won't be able to no, so no, let no. me <laughs> yeah let me just um uh okay so let me just give you a, a few uh, uh, rapid fire questions so that we yes. can just change yes. Uh, yes. you yes. know yes. yes okay favorite author and why i don't have a favorite author honestly i don't uh, i go as per the genre and i if i'm repeating a, an author it's basically because i have probably enjoyed their previous book or if it's a continuation of the previous book i don't have a favorite author as such okay that's that's really great and favorite book or genre in by there are three but i think rom com tops on uh, on that list then i have thriller and then i have fantasy so these are the top three okay and uh, why uh, rom com because yeah i am a die hard romantic at heart and i am also a very funny person so if you put two things that i am as a person together in a, in the form of a book obviously okay. 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 so do you have a question often i mean i have added because it it was a part of my life always so do you have a question often in your life apart from being an author what do you do and how you feel about it uh so i do get that question actually what happened with me was i have been a content writer for a very long time so that question doesn't now come now so uh, i was a content writer first and then i became an author and a freelance writer and a content creator and all of that so that question doesn't come to me anymore par jin logo ko nahi pata hai that i started my career as a content writer and now i am an author mm-hmm. i don't feel 
any any kind of you know theek hai unhe nahi pata hai so they are asking <laughs> ignore okay. <laughs> okay okay that that i i just saw that sort of con- you know because i i told you that you know uh, i always appreciate this sort of confidence in people but um, maybe today you know when this live started and i we had that thing maybe today uh, the mind frame i am in maybe i was not able to take it and now you said on on while he was just typing and you said okay ignore so i just love that and i can truly say that you know how you can easily take such questions in life <laughs> <laughs> because uh, see okay. such people are always there in, everywhere they they are just going to bounce uh, with their opinions on you you have to make a choice whether you want them to affect you or not. exactly very true very true so uh, that this question is already been answered but still i i want to ask now favorite poem from your book it can be from hello book. hello dear uh, hello old friend hands hello. down Okay, so I just request uh, the the people out here and whosoever will watch this live after, so just pick her book uh, and uh, you know just read some uh, like all the poems, and I am quite sure that you are going to um, like relate with a few poems, and uh, the po- the poems are actually you know I usually I you know hear this question as well that poems are not everyone cups cup of tea, but I can say that um, you know uh, I can say that you know her poems. are uh, actually you know they have certain uh, you know crisp and certain um, thing which make you to relate you know any uh, like a few poems out of the book so it's a must read then we can say um, okay have you already worked on a novel or wish to do so in the future so i have already written one novel and i am already working on on the spin off of that novel so Okay. and very predictably uh, it's a rom com <laughs> so, <laughs> okay 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 and yeah. i feel very blessed because the book has been loved very widely and uh, it's doing and really i would really also love to have my hands on it so you can share the link and uh, we can just you know oh, sure i would love to know your thoughts uh, the it's titled love triangle and it's a rom com uh, centered in the city of mumbai and i know because i have written it and focused on mumbai a lot but uh, quite a few of my readers have said that the way i have portrayed mumbai it's it's also one of the characters in the story <laughs> okay. yeah okay. so that's it's really okay uh, so now would love to have rapid fire questions i am ready yeah. for it uh, okay so since you have already asked me my author uh, i won't ask you your favorite author i will twist that question and say who's your comfort author somebody you go to when you don't you know you don't understand what book to pick or which genre to pick uh i i have in that context i have many but uh, you know a few which i can um, uh, say right here is paulo colo uh, is uh, chitra divakurni and uh, khalid husaini mm-hmm. and or many more because you know khalid husaini is one uh, unki jo kite runner hai i know it it is uh, loved on a very uh, you know giant level but i know that this was the only book you know i have a very bad habit i re i i have to buy the book i read it or not i read it maybe after 5 years or something like that sometimes you know um, it's just like that i have to have the book in my hand and i took a chance for the first time in, I, in my life and i But I like took that book from the library, and you know, uh, that was the school where I used to work that time. Now mm-hmm. uh, that I'm a full time teacher, so <laughs> so I just took it from the library. I read it, and I I just uh, tried all things th- that I should not, uh, you know, give that book back. It has to be just stay there. I I say <laughs> that I have the book, but the library knew that I have this thing that you know because sometime I I maybe I had. mention it sometime that she knew the book is very much available with me i asked her that okay i'll buy a new one for you but she said no i want the same book and oh. i had to give it back, to give it back and this gave me three sleepless nights so oh. i know that means that i'm never going to you know borrow borrow and read so it's always either i'll buy and read either i'll ne- not like i'll not read it at all it's a very difficult oh, topic you. uh so now a question related to your reading hobby uh your comfort beverage with a book what is it tell us about that it's always uh tea or coffee okay always. interesting but if you had to pick one um mm, 
okay for for now i'll take tea winter <laughs> <laughs> okay so it depends on the season <laughs> okay okay uh since your book is an anthology i want to ask this particular question is there a, an anthology that you have read recently and en- enjoyed uh no apart from mine of course <laughs> like anthology i can say uh, yeah i can say yes i have read i have read that was an anthology which i, which I was also a part of i had my one story uh, mm. in the book it is uh, by the same publisher thrillena kill so that was one sto- one um, uh, anthology which has uh, somewhere 2021 stories no okay. 30 stories the stories and all the stories have different it is mystery completely mystery and thriller okay. the fabulous read it was fabulous okay. read. read almost all stories maybe one what's or what's the title thrill in a kill thrill in a kill okay i'll check that out sounds interesting okay my next question to you is a recent uh, movie or a book that made you feel like i wish i could write like that uh only series because abhi on top pe i have the series outlander on uh, uh on uh, netflix netflix, netflix. Yeah. yeah this is so, i think it is uh, also trending in the top 10 currently i don't know i maybe t- currently i don't know but I, you know i started watching it to 3 years back but i left it uh, because you know I, i am a very you know in this person i'm a very different person you know like i start something sometimes i leave it so i just left it after one season but now i started it just one month back i started from season 2 and now i am on season 4 so it's like <laughs> brilliant brilliant one i'm telling you it okay. is- i will check this out yeah okay yes. because i've been seeing it in my suggestions or either it is it, it's trending or either it's showing up in my suggestions so i'm going to check maybe, that out maybe because i have never seen it trending that way but uh, it uh, it has a very good imdb rating okay so it's so, <laughs> yeah that that's like the in the terms of imdb rating i guess if uh, people have made hype of game of game of thrones but even game of thrones was good till season 6 okay <laughs> and yeah. i think <laughs> i think outlander is uh, it is the best throughout it, okay yeah okay yeah. Ah, then i have to check it out because yeah game of thrones disappointed everyone with that last season <laughs> okay ah since we, we are talking so much about uh, fantasy and fiction series tell us a mythical creature that you want to incorporate in your fictional story a mythical creature mm, a pers- like mythical creature you want me to uh, like uh, tell the exact creature No, no. It, it can be a combination of two or three that we have read about. <laughs> so I'll say someone who is very wise, on someone who, if not believes in himself, so there is someone who makes him believe in himself. So I can say it can be Popeye, the cartoon character. <laughs> I oh, don't know. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that came to mind. It is yeah, he was to be a nice uh, nice he used to be the best cartoon I used to watch and you know apart from powerpuff girls and all I mean it was our time yeah was our time. <laughs> so, yeah you know, yes and yes, and apart from that if that if you if you know to uh, want to know about the world just go and watch simpson you will tell you will you will be told that what is happening in the future already Yeah. Oh my God. Simpsons is like futuristic, way beyond its time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ritika is saying Harry Potter. So yeah, I was also thinking maybe probably I would also like to have maybe a, an owl like Hedwig. <laughs> uh, but you know, I have just watched a few films, like movies, of that series, but I've never tried to read the books. I do not know. Like people, they say it's very good, and I know it is very good, but somehow I never have an urge to. No. Okay, yeah, you are not finding the right motivation. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that happens with me for uh, a lot of the rings. A lot of people have said that you know, if you are a fan of Harry Potter, especially you have to read that or watch the movies. But I just don't find the motivation to do it. <laughs> yes, I still 
remember you know when i used to work as a teacher to the, the, the students they used to always you know because they knew that you know i i was very open about reading habits and also students used to come to me and you know to know about the titles to share their stories always they you know apart from the subject i used to teach they always find time to talk about the you know fantasies they used to read so they always like you know ma'am please you also read it now so that we can uh, discuss it with you as it please yaar i have other books to read i am not going to read it so it's been 5 5 years and still i i'm not i have not found the exact motivation behind starting yeah i can understand <laughs> especially okay we have harry potter fans here hello potter heads <laughs> Okay, uh, this was such a wonderful session, Gitika. I had so much fun, and uh, it was really, you know, enlightening. Uh, learning about how you go about your writing process, and really, you know, when in the you are in the creative field with each person you talk to, you understand that every person has a process they follow differently, and it's, exactly. it's there's so much to learn from each person. and every uh, everything uh, like every i can say process needs to be respected even if a person you know spending 1 lakh rupee in publishing and publishing a book and call it self publishing okay and the book is widely loved so we have no right to say okay isne to itna paisa laga ke book ko famous kar diya mm. because he got to you know put that yeah. much in a book so they are doing what they think is right in order to reach the audience so that there's nothing right right or wrong way in this mhm i i actually uh, devansh i men- mentioned it that i do not have any idea about mythical creatures so maybe that's why so uh, quoted popeye a cartoon <laughs> uh, she has not read harry potter <laughs> yeah i'm not done because you also mentioned hippogriff so that's why i didn't read that comment because i know you wouldn't understand the context <laughs> the best part about creativity is that even if you get a story narrated each one of the writers would write it in a different manner so that it is amazing about it. yeah that's that's so that's true ritika that's, uh, that's why i love interacting with so many authors and this author collaborative has been a wonderful experience for me and thank you i am so glad that we were able to do it after a, you know slight delay also we were able to do it and i am really happy to see you smiling actually <laughs> <laughs> i just tried and i is you know uh, like i think uh, mama always wants to see me like that only yeah. so it's just that. all my friends and love to you always keep smiling <laughs> so i just reciprocate to you Awesome. and thank you everyone for joining us uh, any last words gitika just if you are an author just keep trusting yourself and if you are a reader so always give a uh, time uh, your time and um, your you know uh, your emotions to new as well as old authors yes very true very rightly said and so nicely we are ending it i'm i'm glad you said that because so important if you love the creative process and you are somebody who loves reading or anything related to you know creativity that excites you you must give chance to new creators also otherwise exactly. how is that feel going to continue so that's that's important exactly. to remember uh, exactly. and thank you for saying that and thank you to everyone who joined us uh, this video will be up on my igtv and also on gitika's uh, instagram page and i will be also uploading it to my youtube channel so you can also check it out there thank you everyone have a great weekend bye gitika thank you bye bye